Hello, what's up mga kamat learner? Isang magandang araw sa inyo. Katatapos lang natin sa mga discussions about fractions. So bago tayo tumungo sa next topic which is all about decimals, let's have a quick transition muna kung paano ba nagkakaroon ng connection si fractions at saka si decimal. So for today's lesson dito sa ML Mixer Ash, ay i-discuss ko kung paano ba mag-convert ng isang fraction papunta sa decimal at mula sa decimal papunta kay percentage. So, vice versa yan. Mula kay percentage, papunta kay decimal, papunta kay fraction. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng iba't ibang classic examples at dito natin malalaman kung paano sila nagkakakonect with each other. So, bago natin simula ng ating discussion, do not forget to click that subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa ating mga Magandang araw sa inyo. Ako pa rin ang inyong abot kamay na mga teacher, si Sir Ash. At welcome sa ating session dito sa transition kung paano ba magkakonect si fractions papunta kay decimal, papunta kay percentage. So for today's lesson is all about conversions from decimal to percentage to fraction to decimal and vice versa. So bibigyan ko kayo ng iba't ibang example paano ba i-convert ang isang number papunta sa other set of numbers. So, simulan na natin mga kamat learner. Let's go to the first example. Now, ano ang gagawin mo kung ikaw ay binigyan ng 2 fifth axial fraction? Paano mo ito i-convert into decimal then percentage? Now, the question is, ano ba itong decimal? Decimal are those numbers that are based on the powers of 10. Okay? So, technically, this is based on the 10th, the 100th, the 1,000th, uh, uh, one and so on and so forth. So, dito nyo ma makikita na ito yung mga may place value after the decimal point. Okay? So, the question is, paano ba i-convert ang 2 fifth into decimal? Ganito lang yun mga kamat learner. So, we go back to our technique, the 2 divided by 5. Okay? Now, we all know na ang 2 hindi pwede i-divide kay 5. So, dito magdadagdag tayo ng index na 0. Okay, so we use 0 para maging 20 divided by 5. So, 20 divided by 5 pwede na. And the answer is 4. Now, since our decimal point is here, we will also put a decimal point there. Okay, so 4 times 5, that is 20. And if we minus 20 minus 20, the answer is 0. Therefore, for our value, para kay 2 over 5, gawin natin decimal point. The answer is 0.4. So, this is our answer. 0.4. Okay? Ganun lang kadali mga tamat learner. So, you just need to use the division, the long division, and then, para makonsider natin ang mga decimal value, we will add index of zeros until such time na wala na tayong matitirang um, remainder. Okay? Ganun lang kadali. Okay, next. Question naman ngayon. Paano naman i-convert si decimal papunta kay percentage? Now, let me tell you this one, guys. Mas madaling mag-convert ng decimal papunta kay percentage kaysa kay fraction papunta kay percentage. So, kung binigyan kayo ng fraction, better yet, ang unang yung gagawin is to convert it into decimal, then decimal go to percentage. Ang tanong, paano ba mag-convert ng percentage. Okay, so we have now our 0.4 as our decimal. Okay. Now, ano naman ito percentage? Percentage are those numbers with a symbol percent sign. Okay? So that is our percentage. Ma, palagi natin ito nakikita sa mga malls na 20% discount, yung mga ganun, or even the rate of a certain um, let's say investment or interest. Ganun. Okay, now. Let's go to this consideration. Paano natin i-convert ang 0.4 into percentage? Napakadali lang ng technique mga kamat learner. Ang gagawin mo lang is to move the decimal point 2 units to the right. Okay. So if this is our number, 2 units to the right. So i-move mo lang ito ng dalawang value. Okay. So ngayon, dito na pupunta yung decimal point mo at magiging whole number 40 na yan with the symbol of 
percentage. Uulitin ko, mula sa decimal point, move two places to the right. That is the keyword, to the right. Okay, move two places, two places to the right. So that is 0.4, it will become 40%. So, the question is, ano ang conversion ng two-fifth into decimal and percentage? Two-fifth is equal to 0.4 or 40%. Ganun lang kadali mga kamat learner. Now, example number two naman tayo. Okay, example number two mga kamat learner. We have 1 and 7 over 10 or 7 10 of a fraction. Now, this is a mixed number, tama? So, ang question, paano mo ko gagawin decimal number? Since we already have our whole number, that means our answer is 1 point. Okay, 1 point. Now, that 7 over 10, pwede mo yung i-change into the process na tinuro ko kanina. That is 7 divided by 10. Okay, so 7 divided by 10 cannot be. So we will add an index of 0. Okay, so since our decimal point is here, okay, so that is 70 divided by 10 and 70 divided by 10 is 7. So 7 times 10, that is 70. So we don't have any remainder. So ito na ang sagot natin, 0.7. But since meron na tayong 1 whole kanina, 1 point, so idadagdag na lang natin to. So 1 plus 0.7, that is 1.7. And that is our final answer for the conversion into decimal. Okay. So, ganun na kadali mga kamat learner. Question, paano naman ito gawing percentage? Ganun pa rin ang technique. Move the decimal value to units or two places to the right. Okay. So, from 1.7, we move two places. Okay. So, since nandito na, walang place dito, so magdadagdag na lang tayo ng 0. And that is 170%. And that is your final answer for this kind of problem. Alright, hopefully nakuha niyo paano mag-convert ng fraction going to the decimal to percentage. Now, next example. What if ang given ay decimal? Paano i-convert into fraction? At paano i-convert into percentage? Okay, example number 3 mga kamat learner. We have a decimal 0 0.45 or this is read as 45 hundreds. Okay. Bakit 45 hundreds? It's because this place value is what we call the tenth and this place value is what we call the hundredth. Okay. So, if we, have, if we read this one, this is 45 hundreds. Okay. So, paano to convert into percentage? Madali lang. Move two places. We move two places to the right and that will become 45 percent. Ganon lang kadali. The question is, Sir Ash, paano naman ipapunta kay um, fraction ang problem? Okay, mula dito sa decimal, ang gagawin mo, ganito lang. Tulad ng pag-read natin kanina, this is read as 45 hundreds. 45 hundreds. Tama? It means that the over of this one is over 100. So, in making this into fraction, that is 45 over 100. Now, the question is, Sir Ash, yan na ba ang aming final answer? No! It's because 45 over 100 can still be um, simplified into lowest term. Ano bang common ng 45 at saka 100? And the answer is 5. Okay, so by using the GCF 5, 45 divided by 5, that is 9. While 100 divided by 5, that is 20. So this is your final answer. So, if you want to convert 0.45 into death into percentage, the answer is 45%. While if you want to convert this into fraction, the answer is 9 over 20. Ganun lang kanali mga kamat learner. Next example naman tayo. Okay mga kamat learner, example number 4 naman tayo. We have a decimal value that is 2.1 or 2 and 1 tenth. Okay, pagpabasan ko. 2 and 1 tenth. So, paano ba ito i-convert into percentage? Ganun lang. Move two places to the right. So, moving two places to the right, this will become 2 and 110 or 210 percent. Kasi we move two places, syempre yung isang place, walang laman, lalagyan na natin ng 0. And now, for going to our fraction, 2 and 110. 
Tama? 2 and 1, 10 ito pagbasa. So, since this is already a whole number, you can put the whole number there. 2. Then, you convert point 0.1 or the 1 10. That means 1 over 10. Ito. Ito na part. 1 over 10 ang ibig sabihin niya. So, if we convert this, if we simplify 1 over 10, hindi mo na masisimplify ito kasi it's already in the simplified form. So, the answer is 1 over 10. Now, baka sabihin nyo, Sir Ash, hindi naman yan fraction. That is a mixed number. How about kung gagawin natin itong fraction? Then, this will become an improper fraction by converting this one. You say 2 times 10, that is 20, plus 1, that is 21 over 10. That is your final answer. So, if you want to convert 2.1 or 2 and 1 tenth into fraction, this will become 2 and 1 tenth or an improper fraction that is 21 over 10. And again, for percentage, you just move two places to the right and it will become 210 percent. Ganun lang kadali mga kamater. Okay, now for this next example, what if percentage naman ang given? So example number 5 mga kamater, we have here 15 percent. The question is, how do we convert this into decimal and into a fraction? Ganito lang kadali mga kamater. Since 15%, this is already in whole number per se, okay? Kung wala lang itong percentage. So, if that's the case, if that's the whole number, the decimal point is right here, tama? Okay, nandito yung decimal. Now, if you want to make it as an actual decimal number, you just move two places to the left. Okay, from percentage to decimal, you move two places to the left. Okay, and that will give you point. 15 or 0.15 or this is read as 15 hundredths ganun lang kadali mga kamatlar okay so 15% will become 0.15 or 15 hundredths now how about if you want to make this into fraction by reading it it means 15 hundredths so that is 15 over 100 15 hundredths now since 15 and 100 is divisible by 5 we can simplify this by using 5 and that will become 3 over 20 and that is your final answer for the fraction and this is your final answer for the decimal if the given is 15%. Ganun lang kadali mga kamat And now let us go to our final example. Okay mga kamat learner, we are down to our final example. Given in the percentage 80%, how do you convert this into decimal and fraction. So from 80%, you move two places to the left. Okay, so that is 80, we move two places, and that will give us 0.8. Okay, now, baka magsabi ka, Sir Ash, pwede bang 0.8? Pwede naman, pero since we are talking about significant values here, kahit ilang zero pa ilagay mo dyan, 0 0.8, 0 0.80, 0 0.800, they are just the same. So this is read now as 0.8 or 8 tenths. Okay, 8 tenths. So that is the final answer for the decimal. Now going to fraction, technically this is read as 8 tenths. So therefore, you just put the value 8 over 10. 8 tenths. Okay. However, 8 over 10 can still be simplified. We can get the lowest term by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2 and we will have an answer of 4 over 5 and that is our final answer for fraction and this is our final answer for decimal if the given is 80% I hope nakuha nyo ang ating technique dito sa pag-convert mula sa fraction to decimal to percentage and vice versa okay mga kamat learner kayo naman ang i-challenge ko try to solve or try to convert these numbers Okay mga kamat learner, hopefully marami kayo natutunan sa ating magpabilis na session for today's topic. Ito pa rin ang inyong abot kamay na math teacher si Sir Ash at lagi niyong tatandaan na masarap matuto ng mathematics kapag marami tayong nagsasama-sama. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng suporta ninyo dito sa pagsubaybay sa ating channel sa ML with Sir Ash. Magandang gabi, magandang umaga, magandang araw, magandang tanghali, lagi tayong mag